And finally, the effects of stress and aging on the skeletal system. We use our locomotor system every day. Sometimes these regular, often repetitive movements cause damage to the skeletal system. Cartilage is flexible connective tissue found at the ends of bones and joints. So here's a spinal column of a human, and that's the cartilage. Over time, cartilage undergoes wear and tear. For example, discs of cartilage separate vertebrae from one another, and that's what we circled here, cushioning the spine and protecting the vertebrae from impact. As people age, the discs may undergo changes that cause pain and stiffness in the back or neck. So here's a nice, clean, normal disc, one that's starting to degenerate. This one actually bulges, it gets bigger. This is a herniated disc and finally a thinning disc. None of those are good. Osteoarthritis, very common in the hip or knees in older people, occurs when cartilage tissue in the joints becomes frayed and exposes bone surfaces in the joint. Right over here, we've got the bones rubbing against each other. Not a good thing. This can make movement very painful, right? Because here you have fluid, you have cartilage, all kinds of nice cushioning things there, keeping the bones apart. Ligaments and tendons are also common points of injury and strain. The plantar fascia, right over here, is a thick band of connective tissue, a ligament, under the foot that connects the heel and toes. Activities that put too much pounding on the feet can result in inflammation and pain, a condition called plantar fasciitis. Right down here, and you can see maybe where it's inflamed, the red color. Tears of the knee ligaments, here's your knee, and here's the tear of the ligament, hopefully you can see the separation there, can occur when the knee suddenly rotates or pivots outside its normal range of motion. These are very common sports injuries. Sprains are strains of ligaments and will heal on their own over time. Tears, however, may require surgical repair. So perhaps you've heard of torn ACLs. The ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It connects the end of the femur, which is the thigh bone, to the top of the tibia, the shin bone. Shin bone, thigh bone up there, at the center of the knee. A torn MCL, medial collateral ligament, that connects the femur to the tibia on the inside of the knee. Fractures, that is broken bones, can occur from many types of accidents. They can be very painful. They're diagnosed with x-rays and may take time to heal. Right over here, you can see the separation between the bones there. The image shows an x-ray of a fractured ulna, one of the two bones that form the forearm.